I found Battle of Night Sister, as we've seen many times in the stream, uh, versus a, a, sl a twist, or maybe the original or 1.0 type of uh, version of uh, strong FN decks, which is the Funkar deck. Um, so swapping in a uh, Trooper and an Elite Unkar for the 20 points, uh, uh, or the points of, uh, sorry, for the points that FN, uh, Bala, and Night Sister make up. So off to start. So Imperial Inspection, very, very strong start uh, for a young card player. I mean, less impactful, again, against FM decks that want to ramp up to three as soon as possible, but may be able to snipe that two-cost upgrade when it goes down, uh, which is huge. Right? If, it, if you snipe the two-cost upgrade, you stop the three-cost upgrade, or at least to delay it. Uh, so we'll see if that happens. Okay, we're rolling in for some damage uh, pretty quickly off the uh, blaster, and uh, not no money to pay for it. Fires uses the three for an on-car to try to get some cash, which is a good move. It's a three-cost upgrade, which yeah. is going to happen in this matchup. So I think Brian is, yeah, he's, I don't know if he's thinking over to whether to play the two-cost upgrade on FN before on-car rolls in or not. Uh, nice sister with a welcome two damage off her. He uses some of that ill-gotten Ill uh, <laughs> Ryan Control money to drop in a Fibro Knife on FN. Roll it in. Yes, that is the top four. Hits a blank. Um, so now he's got to think about what to do with the ambush. Definitely does not want to roll in his on car yet. Uh, flanks, good flank on the, uh, on the two damage. On the, uh, two damage. So it's looking like a strong start for, um, for Funkar for sure. Because FN still got to come in with two upgrades uh, worth of uh, potential damage, as well as his Unkar can come in with a focus, can come in with more money, and of course the all important Imperial inspection. I mean, I think you, you roll an FN here. Like Unkar has to wait, right? Oh no, he's going in for the. He can re-roll for disrupts, I guess. Or are you going to flat out disrupt the money to play the upgrade? Now, uh, Brian was waiting on that. Feels a little safer to, to drop his F11D. Spends his money before it gets. Does do damage to uh, FN? FN, yeah. Well, yeah, FN, especially if it's Funk Art. FN being you know, the primary damage uh, for sure. Uh, Stormtrooper can, Storm Trooper can uh, punch in a little. Yeah, does not hit a disrupt. He's able to get to. Uh, Vibro not close and safe out of Imperial Spectrum range. It was pretty big, pretty big turn of events there. But we still have a, a whole FN on the other side with uh, two pretty potent upgrades to, to roll in. He's got the, he's got the discard to stop the reroll of uh, Grand Dice. Focus. Oh, we have a focus. Yeah. Let's take a one. Obstacle. Uses the ability, the ability. Hits, a, hits a zero this time, but still a good average, a three and a zero. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Claims the uh, Ewok Village to remove no shields. Or doesn't claim. He's just looking at it. Or that's Ewok Village, yeah. Uh, so FN does roll in with some solid damage. You know, three, three damage. Um, a little almost equalize the damage output here. Between the two. Night Sister with the punch to... Uh, It's a good side. Mike's gonna go for Bella first. Yeah. Let's take the two dice off the table. Um, I mean, FN is getting dangerous, but again, he's disincentivized for dropping additional two cost upgrades to uh, ramp up with, so he might be just overriding that one over and over again. Although I see some money again in Brian's hand, so we'll see, you know, the logistics, the aftermath. So it could be. You know, could be hitting, uh, getting uh, that right control baton on, on the top of the, of the knucklers if he wanted. We'll see if he opts to do that or not. So he rolls in. He wants to get value off the knucklers before he overrides him, I think. Uh, values that more than the, the roll of maybe the lightsaber if he was going for that. Uh, 
operates the VibroKnife with a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. It's got the money to fuel it off of the VibroKnife, frankly. So we'll see. No, one of the two blank sides it happens for sure. Uh, we still got focus though to come on Ankar, uh, potentially rerolls stuff. So that I'm sure that rocket launcher will do something. Of course, the Night Sister may just <laughs> stop that as well. But logistics for some more cash. Okay, we definitely have Riot control money now. So yeah, that, I mean, looking back at the end of this match, I mean, uh, dodging that Imperial inspection might be a huge, huge factor. Salvage stand, good to see. Good. In comes the lightsaber. Uh, probably to be overridden by the right control, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, wow. Excellent, excellent roll in there. Uh, it won't resolve it, of course, but we'll get one quarter portion. Definitely worth it to block the damage. Even if it gives the deck uh, some much needed cash. Reds and Knucklers, uh, off to stay with the lightsaber, keep it out there, it makes sense. You have two chances at hitting some base damage here, you have money to pay for the sides. Oh, Funkar gets uh, lucky there. Use a salvage stand, and he can, if he wants, disrupt the other one. Depending, we'll see what we get on the rerolls if he needs to stop that up money. There's pay sides on both the Riot Control Baton and the lightsaber, as people know. But with the focus, um, I don't think that's going to happen. So Balor rolls in, crucial focus to uh, pop that damage back up. Uh, and actually, well, it's not, I don't think he can kill FN this round, but he might get the FN. And FN's, oh, gets the aftermath. Clips to the three to, for the pay um, after he used the Uncar ability on the disrupt, so now FN I mean, is, is dead, right? Forces the kill. Oh, 10, sorry, 11. My apologies to the stream. Uh, yeah, I well, I remember how good FN is. He doesn't have 10 life, he has 11. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason stuck in an alternate universe where he wasn't uber. Uh, drops in of that redeploy weapon, talk about. Get some base damage on the baton. Uh, slow rolling the resolve. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it's not like he had any modifiers he would use that with or anything. Nice to roll in for. Oh, there's, 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 there's the trooper. Trooper? Coming out to play here uh, with the blank, as troopers often do. We roll the Night Sister, yeah. Yeah. The um, Night Sister is going to trade some life and attempt to kill. Yeah, yeah with no cards to roll, nothing to really do. I mean, uh, no, no cards in hand, so. Up to the, can the Night Sister do it? And she does it with only one damage, so it's a pretty good trade. One damage for one damage. Uh, or one damage for a dead character. While the readies. Smoke our player. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, forgot. Just, uh, focus. To the damage. Up into the damage. Yeah, I mean. The troopers again. Uh, trooper is not a lot of life, as everyone knows. So if he goes down this round. Well, he gets another activation, etc., etc. I mean, and uh, no, he lost the aftermath. So not at all in there. But so yeah, after a fairly good start by the Funkar player, this has swung pretty strongly in favor of the uh, Rainbow FN deck, I believe. Yes. I can triple baton. Oh, double blanks. Always hurts. You always remember it. Considering I'll hold out Blaster, um, Raw, should take up all his money. So the salvage stand is there, so. He's yeah, he's going to lose it anyway, you're right. Doesn't want to leave any. Uh, I mean, it is risky inspection, it's still a thing, right? But. Well, I guess. He's got enough upgrades, it's not it's not not that he really has to worry about getting money for upgrades on FN at this point. He's already got enough to deal the damage he needs or overwrite. But 
Oh, really good reroll um, on the super for sure. Increases the damage output by four. So Dev's coming. I would think the riot control baton or with no money. Yeah, uh, it's got money. Yeah, yeah the trooper might have been. Wait a second. Oh, the doubt. The doubt followed by yeah. The doubt allows him to. So he gets Bala. Kills Bala and puts the one on a uh, Okay, another big FN is rolling in. Uh, his money situation zero, so... Oh, but he has a dollar. Some of that damage it could be avoided, but he's still got a lot of damage showing. Enough to kill the trooper. Doubts it. We see the same play going the other way. Going for one of those two blank sides. It's a dollar. <laughs> It's going to stop some damage, but still going to end up taking four at a cost for the player. Should keep them alive, granted, although, you know, Night Sister, he's got a lot of life, a lot of life left yeah. and some cards in hand to go for that one damage, so. Probably wants to get a die to go along with that upgrade on an uncard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll go find it hurt, yeah. So we're going to have an impressive Ankar, <laughs> a very impressive Ankar coming in when this trooper goes down. But bounces right, hold the, the blaster. Bounces the blaster, which saves two damage. Yep. Uh, the die. So make sure the die goes away. The die's got to come out of the way. Give them a second to notice this. Travis is going to go mention it to the table, Judge. Got it. Yep. Did you use it? Yes, it's good. They fixed it or? They fixed it. It's good. Couldn't tell if he fixed it or if he was resolving it. Yeah, so the uh, so crucial uh, disrupt roll on the Imperial Spectrum there for Mankar, but that's what he does. That's that's half the reason. Well, making make money is why he's in the deck, but that's also a big reason it's for the power of Imperial Inspection. F11D is a tough reroll. I mean, you got it's got some money, so two sides you want to work with. The shield's not bad either. So, decent. still decidedly uphill battle for Ponkar, but you know he's 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 coming back a little bit in this round, I'd say. comes the uh, whole out blaster. Hits the pace side, unfortunately. He won't be able to do anything with that. Uh, except, well, he can use Night Sister to, to try to go for a resource or one damage or a shield, perhaps. Although, trading damage on Night Sister for a shield is probably not worth it. Rice for melee. Uh, hits the two, yeah. Man, we're seeing flamethrowers just do a lot of work in this game. Yeah, absolutely. In the, all these matches, the flamethrower is impressing me a lot more. Okay, so we go into the round. Uh, Ankar at full health. Uh, Stormtrooper are just barely clinging on. Probably one Bala. I mean, one FN trigger will take care of him. Uh, so might as well get him into the pool as quickly as possible. Um, and then we have uh, 10, 15 on the other side for FN and Night Sister. So. Him, so he's going to be able to land some damage before he goes away. Looks like it, yeah. Uh, he's got the money to pay for the sides, so yeah, he's definitely on a clock. That's that, going to overkill here. He's going to overkill, and then he has only damage showing. So I think, yeah, you, I mean, you certainly want to resolve that three. Or he, he's, considering that he doesn't like you, that's, that's something. The other thing is, you cannot kill the trooper right away. Uh, because everything's going to redeploy, yeah. Yeah, you don't want it all to end up on Ankar before he rolls in. Yeah, so he gets the damage in, just in case something happens. He can force the overkill, which is, you know, and keep it, he doesn't like you in his in his hand, which I think is pretty valuable. I think it's a good choice. Takes the two resources. Wow, so now he, he can, leave, he's got the he doesn't like you, yeah. He can... So the hold up 
Blaster was played on Night Sister? Yeah, I think. No, no, he's overriding. Over it was overriding, over sorry, okay. I thought it was just... So again, melee weapon, huge. Yep, doesn't want to overkill by three, so switches it over to Unkar. Which makes some sense, because the Stormtrooper's done what he's going to do this turn, basically. Uh, so, Popster, the two-player box was not released in Canada uh, until the, the 14th. So that means it's out of eligibility uh, for this event. So, if we were two days later, we would have been able to play with it, but not for this event. So I think what Brian's thinking of, I think you might be thinking that you try to kill both characters next turn and just pile up any damage you get on on, on, Ed, on Car if he's refusing to roll it in. I mean, that's two pretty good upgrades that won't be coming in. The opts for that strategy. Yeah. And he's still got, you know, fair life advantage on him, so... Uh, good reroll, three damage. It'll take Unkar. Okay. And, yeah, and, in, and you know, next round, all you need is one weapon to potentially kill the trooper if you have to. So. I don't even think, I think you've got a boundless ambition. Boundless you just ambition? Keep, yeah, keep rerolling the. Uh, that's true. Keep, just keep rerolling that IQA for something. Take out, the trooper. Just take out the trooper with a one. Okay. I mean, this is kind of the best possible outcome for Unkar. Uh, yeah, he still has the balance in his hand, so he can balance and just do a lot of splash damage yeah. for. Oh, wow, well, he's got one. Do a lot of six damage on Unkar with out of a balance is on the high side, but still definitely do it, I think. Gives him light through the vibro necklace, so that's uh, three damage. That he uses a disrupt wisely just in case that balance is coming. It's another really solid disrupt roll by Ankar, doing a lot of work there. Uh, has some cards to re-roll that right control baton, which may be worth it. Um, and other than that, just one damage, which isn't... Oh, it looks like he... Two resources came from... Just passing and taking. I don't. Know. I, I'm a little confused where the two resources are there. Hmm? I don't. I'm a little confused by the two resources on the side. But logistics. I didn't see a logistics plate. Or was there? I don't know. That's, no. that's I, usually where the two mystery. Uh, yeah. No, because he didn't play the balance either. So I, is he just prepping for next round? Yeah, he might have. Nope. So he had to, okay, interesting. He didn't opt for the boundless last turn with, with a resource. I find that interesting play. Because he doesn't necessarily need money. He's just gonna be overriding for damage. And then re-rolling re with Night Sister, so. Right, we're not clear. Yeah. It's for two. It's for two. Gets the ambush. Roll in, four is not at all difficult. So Ankar has to hit enough. And oh wow. Uh, I see the four for one. It's, it's, what can he do about this? He's got a he doesn't like you, but it's too late for that. He's got a flank which he can't play, so he's got an unfortunate set of um, control cards that are contingent. Yeah, we're wondering about the mystery two money too, if it was just off the board or it just seems strange not to play, but it, it was probably it's there. It's not a factor in the game, yeah, so... Probably, yeah, because he didn't spend, he spent one this turn. Uh, I think it was just off to the side. I mean, the camera is, covers just the play mat sort of thing, and there can be stuff off to the side. I mean, the judge is there and the other player. I don't think anybody missed two credits or two resources, so... I think I thought he was prepping for next turn, too, but, you know, I, I, I definitely give Brian the, the benefit of the doubt. I don't think there's any cheating there. I also don't think... There would be very little reason. He, I don't think he needed that money, and if he did have it, uh, again, I thought, I think Boundless might have been a, a, something that was running through his head, so. Yeah, so Travis is going to check, see what happened. I'm sure he'll get a quick explanation for the chat, what happened there with the $2, because we didn't see it on stream, but we have a limited 
somewhat limited field of view. We can see almost everything, but uh, sometimes stuff slides off. Hit a flank, but um, the Night Sister was there. Uh, so he was Ankar one character and Night Sister one character, so you can't you can't flank if you don't have more ready characters. Yeah, it was the Night Sister was stopping the flank, so Yeah, he had two control cards that both could have saved his life, but um, both of them needed him to be, uh, needed uh, certain con conditions that weren't met. Yep, needed the one quarter portion, needed uh, Electroshock. Oh, Electroshock wouldn't work either. So there was very few control cards he could have, he could have done anything with there. A doubt, potentially. Travis, come. Did this just in on the two two resources. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I think basically it was a, an error. He's not actually sure what the sequence was that got it. So oh, okay. they both agreed that it had no impact on the outcome of the game, but they'll be paying a bit closer attention going forward. Okay. Well, good catch there, Chad. Uh, I was just a little confused by it, um, but but it could. Yeah. I mean, you know, you just focus on the game. Maybe you prep for next turn, and then you do it again. Which I don't think people should prep for next turn. I don't think there's a rush. No. <laughs> so yeah, you shouldn't. Because you don't have you to save time. Unclear game states like yeah. like it might have happened there. Yeah. With an hour and a half for three rounds in this meta, uh, <laughs> there's no need to rush. Okay. So what do we got in hands here? Uh, cannon fodder is decent. He's got some weapons for. FN, yeah, you got two, and, uh, maybe start with the gaffy stick or the thing and then overwrite. Look for some money for the rocket launcher. It's pretty decent on the Funkar side start. He doesn't, although he doesn't have an Imperial Spection. So yeah, he doesn't have an Imperial Spection or Salvage Dance. So I see why he sends most of that back, if not all. Because that's what he's looking for. It's not so much, it's less of a, a deck like the Rainbow that just wants a lot of weapons and economy cards. I missed, I missed what Brian, I couldn't really see his hand. I missed what he kept. I know he had a Boundless Ambition. I don't know if he kept that in his opener. I, maybe. Okay, so we got the Salvage Stand, which I'm sure one of the things he's looking for. He got a one quarter, an Electroshock, Vibro Knife, and what's the last, I don't know what the last card is, but that's a good start. I mean, you know, you Vibro Knife, Salvage that Vibro Knife, get some money, uh, so you can still play your Electroshock. Pretty solid start. Okay, let's go with the F ending. F ending, boom. See what he gets. Oh, they're rolling into a dice tray, moving it. Gets a dollar. This is a really good start. Overwrites to another free to play weapon. F11D. Hits the two, can utilize the dollar right away. Knife comes in. Let's see if he uh, gets his good rolls on uh, the Funkar side. It's a discard. Okay. Maybe he'll hit the zero cost so Funkar doesn't hit it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's okay. But I, I think he's only got... I, there's not much for Unkar to hit in that hand anyway. He can make one credit. But getting rid of a Boundless Ambition is not a bad thing. He hit the... He hit the like you. Sorry, but I'm thinking for the Funkar, Unkar oh, ability. Sure. Right. I mean, he would be disappointed with the total. And I, I think Ankar uses his ability early quite a bit. Uh, so Bala, again, focus. Solid Bala could turn that into three damage. Okay, so I think he's considering whether he's gonna, well, he's gonna wait until after the focus, I think. Yeah, he's gonna wait for after the focus. Uh, nothing to salvage stand, nothing to really disrupt. Oh, there is now. Oh, there is now, yeah. Uh, so, Enrages, dealing with damage to the Night Sister. He's going to Uncar. <laughs> he's, he's happy enough with the, with the one resource from the Boundless, because it was about to be played, most likely. My Sister rolls in. Oh, focus. Oh, now he can focus. Okay, so, we'll see. Does he? I, it's pretty risky for him to go for the focus into the plus two Bala. 
Um, I mean, he can always reroll with Night Sister, so he could go for that big damage. We'll see if he does or not. He's got the one base on the Night Sister, but Unkar's sitting on three cards, and it's, you know, oh, Electroshock's the one, letting letting Focus Val into. Vibro knifed up, fan roll in. It's a resource. Focusing into the one. So we're going to see the one quarter portion come out for a dollar. For three damage, giving your opponent a dollar at this stage, uh, it's definitely a question. So he doesn't do it, he takes the three. Overwrites his knucklers. It's so his ambush action will be, well, is he going to resolve? I would imagine. Sticking with Bala. His ambush action is, I think, I think it re-rolls. Uh, yeah, I don't think that one quarter portion is worth not re-rolling. Wow, okay, or... <laughs> or maybe it was. <laughs> Unfortunate re-roll. So set up for the next round. What do we got? We got Vibro Knucklers um, to drop in and three resources to drop into on FN. Uh, since Balo seems to be the first target, I mean, FN's going to be a monster by the time he dies. Um, so not overriding is probably a good idea here. Resolves the discard single. Gets the Cannon Potter. Um, definitely useful because you could take a little bit of damage off of FN for free. Overwrites for Riot Control Baton. I control baton on the second roll gets a two, so they can't resolve it. Planks it to Plank save the two damage. Um, Real, realizes that no one's actually exhausted actually on Brian's side, yeah. so it cannot flank. Um, I, I, he's got it. Yeah, doubts. Pretty, pretty solid too. He's got no money, so a lot of those sides. Oh, well, <laughs> it's the worst possible side, or one of the two. On the doubt, which you know happens with doubt sometimes. So yeah, I think I think Michael has to start thinking about getting redeploy weapons on FN because if he loses that that three cost and three plus investment. Uh, so FN rolls in. Uh, Riot Control Baton, just sitting out there for flank four. Um, get some money, always welcome. Oh, you still. Trooper rolls in. Nice. You know, good solid point of damage, but some he can uh, use as he doesn't like you on if he wishes. I don't think there's any really good targets right now, but there might be one of those uh, blue damage single base situations come up again. Uh, well, now the flank's live. Um, I mean, eventually he had to roll in, but uh, and it was revealed before. But. Yeah. Grab some money for more upgrades in the future. Ankar rolls in. He <laughs> can take a bolt. That's the disrupt. Interesting. Because there's two disrupt sides on on Ankar, so I mean you're using a doubt to yeah I guess it's okay because you can get the plus two which isn't helpful. There's some sides that that are not that great. Nice to rolls in another, another ping. Spends into the F11D. See, we, see what we can get out of it. Oh, gets a special, which is decent. I mean, three characters still up. It's not going to do a ton, but drops shield, puts one on FN, valuing the Night Sisters of reroll ability. Reroll into no damage, but it's definitely some, you know, welcome shield and health. 
It's going to steal the dollar. Interesting for the damage. Uh, a damage and a card for a dollar, maybe. I guess he's just really playing around the balance. Yeah. He's got one card left, so played around the balance. Interesting. I mean, with one gone, uh, I mean, yeah. It's a blowout card, so I guess you just, you just play the odds, but odds are I didn't have it. That's fine, but it's a terrible way to lose a game, playing those odds. Yeah. As we saw with the flamethrower in the first match. It's a flank. Okay. Decent card to get. Ready up. So, yeah, I mean, we've seen a real damage disparity here. Only two damage on the uh, side. Uh, on the rainbow side, so certainly I think they're still in control of this game. Resources are roughly equivalent, upgrades are roughly equivalent. Um, although I, I would say that the Funkar needs another, it needs to overwrite that Vibro Knuckles to something upgrade, uh, redeployable pretty soon if they can. One comes, one likes to do the one. Serves the use the ambush. He can drop in a rocket launcher. Yep. So he could he could kill. I mean, it'd be huge. You get the four, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, wow. Wow. Humongous uh, action there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that's the biggest play of the game so far for sure. Uh, not even giving any more FN activations. Not giving a roll in. Very harsh. Inspection way too late. I mean, you might as well just pitch it for reroll at some point. Couldn't get, only gets to redeploy the F11. Yeah, rough stuff. The only saving, uh, the only thing, the only downside, one thing that could, Michael can take out of it is that at least uh, Ballard didn't get a reactivation. <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's thin comfort. That's stretching, yeah. Who's to say he might get one on the uh, on the trooper here? Six life is, is not that rough, not that bad, not that hard no. with a focus and a night sister rerolls or seven life. I mean, Alex to use that four damage. Yeah. On. It's going on F N. Okay. Switches targets. Wow. Okay, focus unneeded. Oh, he has no money. So, yeah, he can do six and he focuses it into a dollar. I'm sure we'll roll up the Night Sister and see what happens. But it's a lot of scary damage. Uh, some of it can be one quarter portioned. Doubt it, yep. Doubt the rocket launcher makes sense. Uh, no money, that's perfect. Perfect down target. Doesn't matter what he rolls. Mill, not very consequential at this no. point. Pro oh, the, there's the boundless. He's been fearing. Boundless is in the hand. Not the. No money to play it at this point, but he can get it if he needs it. But, yep. Uh, wait a second. Where where's that dice? Where where's this dice from? It's it's the wrong dice. It, the, she should have a dice, but it's the wrong one. I think they caught it. I was pointing to the screen. Sorry, stream. <laughs> Doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> yeah, to switch out the dice. So he switched out the dice with the proper with the, with the real one and took it out of the pool. Yeah, but I'm sure he would have. I'm sure he would have rather had the guy control baton, honestly, but. Yeah. So it's good resolution. He, he decides that you know he'll replace it with the correct one, but he will not re-roll it in the pool. So yeah. So yeah, I think the best Ankar can hit some some disrupt or maybe something he uses his ability with. Most likely just disrupt. 
I don't know if he'll opt to use cards to re-roll at all. I think that IQA is not a bad, well, a bad choice for a re-roll, but. Felt of damage on Unkar, yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling Mike's a little bit discerning here. Yeah, I mean, the situation's obviously, uh, for Michael, is very difficult, let's put it that way, very dire. Uh, facing down three characters, you know, that only have six damage done on them, equivalent. After you take away the shield and, and uh, not a, you know, not a ton of damage potential on his side. Maybe, maybe he's hoping he'll go insane and Night Sister kill himself trying to reroll that too. I don't know. Oh, there we go. There we see it. I, and Michael was playing, trying to play around it so much, and then it come pops out the second one. Uh, with a dollar, plenty of chances for rerolls. Uh, overwrites, let's see. Well, I don't imagine that dollar is going to last. So, Uncarry disrupts. Yeah. Um, but he's got yeah, two upgrades to overwrite. And six Night Sister punches, as we know. It's the disrupt. Ops not to use it. Wants to reroll it to something a bit more meaningful. Because the F11 D is the only other one he hit, which. I mean, the downgrade might be worth it. We saw John G do that quite a bit, uh, just to get the extra damage. But I think he's in a good enough position here. I don't think he has to take too many chances. Now he's asking if he can resolve it. Um, or he opts not to resolve it. I think Michael was waiting to see if he was going to. So after taking only one damage on Unkar, he overwrites, I guess, yeah, dire times. He can't keep the redeploy yeah. just for that. Reroll the Unkar. It's a buck. Okay, that's something. And he, no, there's nothing to salvage stand. Oh, rolls in a solid damage. Yeah, that's like three. Three, yeah. Three damage that he didn't have before. Stays focused on Unkar. Yeah. My QA is not that, I mean, Michael claims. Definitely solid, but it's not going to. Hits again. Wait. Oh, over right, yeah. Reroll, reroll, off screen. <laughs> yeah, so for something. Nice re -roll yeah, again, rerolls. Um, seeking the two damage, I guess, but ends up with a resource. Okay, so Ankar. I mean, the best defense, given that Ankar has been the target, but, I mean, putting damage on your trooper is not that useful. I guess you can save yourself some damage overall. Drops F11D. More output. Hold up blaster comes in. It's a plus two. This can't be resolved now, but it's scary for later, given the base sides on... on all three characters. Bala with the ambush action. Seeing so how there's a good chance he's going to get a chance to. Uh, wow. And Bala rolls in enough to finish a bunker himself and reactivate. Rolls Salvage stand. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. So we can pop Bunker here and reactivate Bala. Yep. Not a good trade for best defense. No. Well then, uh, it's got some damage, not enough to take out a character, so 
Tro and the trooper, trooper staring down uh, five dice coming at him <laughs> here. That's a pretty potent dice. That uh, that's five damage showing. Oh, that's 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 kill, kill on the board. Oh, he has no money though. So he needs to come up with some cash. He doesn't like you the two for the blank. I would guess yes. Knock him down to one damage right now. So Bala has to reactivate and Night Sister, so yeah, knocks out any potential damage again. I mean, Brian really isn't in a rush. I mean, he's heavily favored, so no need to take any risks. Uh, the hand, the Stormtrooper's hand is looking poor. Can't do anything with that inspection, really. Best defense is not going to help him too much. Might save him a few damage points. In comes Bala. See if he continues. Oh, wow. That worked. Really good work for Bala, because he can turn... Yeah, and he can turn that other one into more damage on the Riot Control Baton. And, or the Night Sister. If he Night Sister just a dollar. This card. So, I mean, if he wanted, he could take the line of just re-rolling the Riot Control Baton or re-rolling the Night Sister. Probably re-roll the Night... Yeah, re-roll the Baton for two and then focus into the kill. I mean, an inspection's not helping you. See what you can get. You might get a shield on the F-11. So that's the best defense. The best nice. defense to do this? Yep. I, was... I mean, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Goes for this, he can reroll the Bala die for one. So now he can reroll the lightsaber die. Yep. And the lightsaber die. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. So that's two.